lose in the final. And Jones went to Smash Bros. start. And Kips are going straight with the cloud. One of Sonic's, generally considered one of Sonic's worst matchups. Of course, that could be proved not the case. Because it looks like Aperture jump on the It looks like Aperture B, Tweet, and Anti Spout, and Nairo Saga. Right now, Pendrop has right. not been touched yet. He that. He has a touch. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. 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 How does a character even can deal with Sonic's hitboxes? You reactively see, oh, there's a spin off there. I'm going to throw out a bigger hitbox and deal with it. And having to approach even less than Sonic does. The power of limit charge is insane in this matchup. Not that attack. Sterling Pelagod flying off stage. I don't think he has a jump. And yeah, doesn't quite make it to ledge. Well, back there it, so. Yeah. And now looking in a really strong position. And kind of got just having to be a little bit more aggressive than maybe he's comfortable with. The down throw just sends Kip off stage. He's using the up beat early. Not one to drift the spring spike. The cross slash. Good beat from Pelagod, clearing the ledge of Kitsu. Oh, good back. Oh, can he close the Oh, and that might be it. He yeah, doesn't have a jump, down. and yeah. Very nice. Looking like he might have been going for the spring spike to start with, but rising up with the spring jump and border. Brad and Smart Edge guarding from Pelagod coming out there. Uh, I'm nothing to choose between these two. Oh, cross back on field. Goes unpunished. Kind of got managing to punish the full limit charge there. There are a couple of frames where I cannot act as he gets that full limit charge. I think I'll manage to sneak in a bit of percent during those frames. Oh, nice. I just taunt! I think the one thing is something to do with morale. Oh, yeah, it's something Kibzu does quite a lot. Oh, oh and that's, that's the nice. dumpster. I mean, that's something you can do with Sonic's recovery. Knuckles. Oh no. Man. And Kibzy saying, okay. I've beaten you with Cloud. Now I'm gonna beat you with Sheik. Right. No? And here we go. Picking Battlefield. Right. Yep. Maybe your PC. Maybe because you're far away from the internet. That's probably it, to be fair. Alright. Up throw. Gets into the back air. Back air. Oh, just stopping right in front of him. Just a small mix up, but not quite working out for Pelagod. Right, 
Got both. Got Pagan Pay in the UK National Anthem. The Sonic. We've got Kizu. Holding that land pretty well, actually. Very nice rising there. So how's that? That's strange. Kibzu really calling out uh, Peligod's habit of beefing up the aim. Throw out hitbox to try and clear the ledge. <laughs> Not one to take any risks while recovering him. Using those high platforms for his advantage. Yes, he has to hit on the platform, and that upper is going to confirm into the stock. Again, we see Kibzu with a stock lead here. Only 100% on him, but not far from death percent from Sonic. Down throw just about gets him off stage. Forward throw again, just gets an off stage situation. Kibzu just gives it a minute, charges his needles. Yeah. Needles are incredibly strong for Sheik in this matchup. If Sheik has fully charged needles, then Sonic really struggles to approach. And again, Kibzu not falling to these mix-ups with Pelligod stopping just in front of him. And they're not quite killing Kibzu. Oh, but that bouncing fist just landing. <laughs> the taunt coming out from Pelligod as well. You are not the only one who can taunt. Now he's waiting for opening. No, Using that bounce fish to get out of the disadvantage. Down for. Gets the 50-50, but not quite killing. Okay. got now finding the BI to get away from that 50-50. Only a 50-50 on stop, yeah. Great way to escape the spin dash by using new doors. Kimsey now starting to suffer from Sheik's lack of kill power. Of course, Sheik doesn't need to kill. Something a lot of people don't often realize. The Sheik doesn't need to kill Sheik. Eventually, kills off stage control. But one, there's no difference to Sheik between them being at 156% and them being at 256%. It doesn't matter. If Sheik doesn't get touched, then Sheik doesn't get touched. Yeah. But he is now at max rate, so it doesn't matter what damage Kibzu's putting on him. Oh, and very risky. Vanish. Just catching these offstage needles. Heading for it. And that upper is going to take the game. Kibzu having the two new advantage. Just catching the jump there. That is 2 0 to Kibzu. Pelly. Pelly nowadays. That's what I heard. No, he's changing into Pelly. No one's Right. And game three, we're going to Smash Bros. 
And Kizzy bring out his third character now. Again, just not giving Pelly any chance to download what his playstyle is. Because different characters are different ways. But a very risky dash attack there from Kizu. Grabbed by Pelygod. Kizu playing a very patient game. Next we have Burner, burner Kick. Go to the skies, but Pelagop getting out of it very efficiently. Very good FBI coming out. Again, Pelagop doing a very good job not falling into Kibzu's Bayonetta combos. Pelagop now with a Slightly mixed. Because against Ben it doesn't take much damage, it's just disappearing. Okay. And the Ben Adder now goes to jump. Pelagod now off stage without a jump. But that up is keeping himself safe. Oh, and that's a witch time. And that's going to be the stop. Gives you just practicing that double stick up there. Why do you get famous? Just like spin dash. Pelagod now needing to seal out this stuff fairly quickly. Of course, not holding shield against Bayonetta at ledge is very risky. Her hitboxes are very huge. And very easily just come through the stage. And back row sets up ledge guarding situation. Kibzu going super deep, but gets caught jumping from ledge with Pelagod back there. 28% between them right now. Pelagod sitting on what could be his common stock. Does not want to go home in third place. Wants to advance and play against Pikens in grand final. And go to the skies. Will Pelagod get out? Yes. He doesn't manage to finish it. The up throw. Looking for the down air. I think it's a little bit early for that to be killing, although the landing hitbox is extremely strong. Not quite landing safely, I'm running just in front of the Pelagod. Pelagod now really even it up, 1% between them. Oh, and the spring hits Kibzu, but Kibzu still has his jump. Covers safely. Pelagod now is slightly... Enough so that he can play a little bit more defensive. Have to approach a little bit less. Kibzu just staying in place, slowly retreating back. Giving Pelagod the stage control. Trying to reverse that, but that F smash takes the game. Right, we're, we're in finals now. Kids, she's gonna have to run back against. I'm gonna say, like, don't click at me, mate. I ain't, I ain't like that. We don't roll like that. That's why top plays these days. Oh, anyway, we've got.